Gracious Word Presented by Church of Christ Dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you to this Voice of Truth study series. We are studying why Christians believe and what Christians believe. In this series, today we are going to study why we are baptized. We first read of a man named John who went out baptizing. John baptized so many, he was referred to as John the Baptist. We read that he even baptized Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 3 verse 13 through 17, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so for now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then we suffered him, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like dove, and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. We see, John was the forerunner of Christ, the one who was sent to prepare the way for the Lord. He was also given the task of introducing baptism to the people of his day, so that it will be easy for Christ and apostles to come along and teach baptism. And Jesus, after his death and prior to his return to the Father in heaven, he said to the apostles, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. This we can read in Mark chapter 16 verses 15 and 16. Baptism is one of the conditions of salvation. As we read through the book of Acts, we observe time and again where people obeyed the Lord. In every case, these people heard the word of God preached, they believed it and they were baptized. Bible says baptism is a burial. In Colossians chapter 2 verse 12, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from dead. Also Bible says clearly that baptism puts one into Christ and puts one into church. We read in John chapter 3 verse 3 to 5 where Jesus clearly says one must be born of water and of spirit to enter the kingdom of God. The water here refers to baptism and the kingdom of God is about the Lord's church. So, why then we are baptized? We are baptized because Christ has commanded we do it to be saved, to enter Christ and the church. Further, baptism is a symbol of Lord's death, burial and resurrection. In our obedience as recorded in Romans 6, we do so. Romans 6 clearly explains that Christ died on the cross and we are to die to our sins. Christ was buried in literal tomb and we are to be buried in the waters of baptism. Christ came forth from the grave, resurrected from the dead, triumphant over hell. When we come up out of the water, we are resurrected from a watery grave. I hope this study would have given you a clear understanding why a Christian is baptized. I further welcome you to continue in this study series so that you can understand God's word much better. Have you saved from your sin? Have you entered Christ? If not, be baptized. Please feel free to contact us by mail or through phone. You are always welcome. Dear friends and viewers, we welcome you all to this Voice of Truth International program. Our holy greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In our today's lesson, I would like to encourage you through the word of God regarding how God delivers his people. Yes, my beloved friends and viewers, there are a number of problems that mankind, they undergo in common. In our today's lesson, we will see some problems that the human beings, they undergo and we will see the promise of God from the Bible, our solution from the Bible for those problems. Let's read Psalms 119 verse 170. It says like this, Let my supplication come before you. 
deliver me according to your word yes my beloved friends the sam is says deliver me according to your word and yes we are going to see that only today we are going to find some solution from the bible for common human problems and by this word deliver me according to your word we are going to find some solution from the bible for our human problems the first one the human beings undergo a common problem is we need deliverance from the guilt and penalty of sin yes my dear friends and viewers sin is a happy thing to do when we commit sin we will be very happy we will enjoy doing that one but we all have experienced that the guilt and penalty of sin is a very hard thing to experience the guilt and penalty of sin is a very hard feeling so for this problem what the bible says let's first see a man who is filled with the guilt of sin how he prays to god let us read luke chapter 18 verse 13 it says like this and the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven but beat his breast saying god be merciful to me a sinner the tax collector filled with the guilt of sin he prayed to god and said god be merciful to me a sinner all of us have encountered such a feeling when we are committing sin we will enjoy doing that one but afterwards after few days few months few years or at our old age the guilt of sin it will kill us so what's the solution for that what's god's promise for such a kind of uh, problem how god delivers man from guilt and the penalty of sin the bible says like this in acts chapter 13 verses 38 and 39 it says like this therefore let it be known to you brethren that through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of sins and by him everyone who believes is justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of moses the bible says we can be delivered from the guilt of sin through jesus christ this verse says through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of sins as yes, far as to be delivered from the guilt and penalty of sin our lord jesus christ died on the cross he shed his blood he gave his life for us so through that we are delivered from the guilt and penalty of sin so this is the promise of god for every human being who are undergoing this problem the guilt and penalty of sin the second thing is the power of evil what the bible says about this let's read romans chapter 7 verses 18 to 25 i'd like to uh, turn your bible with me to this part but let us read verses 19 and 20 says like this for the good that i will to do i do not do but the evil i will not to do that i practice now if i do what i will not to do it is no longer i who do it but sin that dwells in me my dear friends here paul says that i wish to do good but i am not doing that one i do not want to do evil things but i am doing that one this is the power of evil so every human being is of this kind of nature so how we can overcome this one how we can be delivered from the power of evil the bible says in romans chapter 6 verse 14 that for sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under law but under grace if we are under grace we can overcome the power of evil or the power of sin that's what the bible says if we are under the law of moses we cannot overcome that but since we are under the law of christ that is the law which tells about grace we can overcome the power of sin and evil let's read another verse also in john chapter 1 verse 17 it says like this 
for the law was given through Moses but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ so in that verse in Romans 6 14 we have read that when we are under grace we can overcome the sin we have dominion over sin when we are under grace here in John 1 17 we read that the grace and truth it came through Jesus Christ so ultimately when we are with Jesus Christ we can overcome this power of evil or the power of sin. The third thing I like to share with you is the problem, common problem that man undergo is the third problem. It is that sudden temptation. How we can be delivered from sudden temptation? I will give you an example from the Bible. In Genesis chapter 39, if you read from verse 1 to 23, it says about Joseph, the young man. How he flee from the sudden temptation. So, uh, let's read two verses from Genesis chapter 13 and verse 7 and 8 tells like this. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me in the house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. Here we can see a good example who flew away from the sudden temptation because the Lord was with Joseph and Joseph was with the Lord. So this is the solution. So how we can be delivered from this sudden temptations? All men and women undergo such a sudden temptations. We don't know when it comes but we fall pray for that. So how we can be uh, delivered from such a thing? Let's read another verse. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. It says like this. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. My dear friends, here we can see from this verse that we are not tempted beyond our ability. And the another thing we can see that our temptations is not a, a special thing what we are undergoing. It is common to every man. Another thing we can see from this verse is that God will also make a way of escape when we are tempted. My dear people, I like to uh, conclude this message by reminding what we have studied to in today's lessons. How God delivers his people. We have some common problems like the guilt and penalty of sin, the power of evil and some sudden temptations. We have seen those problems from the Bible verses and also we have seen God's promises for us, how he will be delivering us from those kind of problems. Beloved friends, we like to encourage you to study the word of God with us through this program every week and also you can write to us to receive some Bible related materials, literatures. You can share your prayer points with us and we will be praying for you. Thank you for your patience in listening to this lesson. See you all. Be blessed by studying the word of God. To receive the Voice of Truth International Magazine and to study the Bible systematically through our English Bible Correspondent Course, kindly write to us. Our address, Gracious Word, PO Box 15, Arsradi Madurai 625016, Tamil Nadu. For more details, dial 9244204420, 9244214420. God bless you. The Church of Christ salutes you. Joy Creative Production For video coverage and editing, audio recording and editing, promo for advertisement, graphic design. Contact 9042494996.